okay so let's take a look at how you can connect to the data generated from our script to power bi so as you know by default we don't have option to get data that way right so only option we have here is using desktop version of power bi now before that make sure that you have r studio and r on your computer because you will be running our script so we'll need that uh, also one more thing make sure that if you have multiple R language versions then you will have to give your power bi desktop the exact version that you wish to use right so let's open our studio and let's hope for it to allow us two options to do things first being creating our script right so we will click on our script right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in library data table right and on next line i'm going to use library deploy right the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use the dead file name and i'm going to read a particular csv file so let's go there d files and then here as you can see medic.csv so i'm going to copy the address and then simply say medic.csv once read i can simply output the content of that that right so if i select everything and simply run it it should show me the output right so there will be a viewer so uh, let's say if i choose forward slash instead of backward slash so let's see what it will show right so let's run this and then that as you can see the data is something like this right so what we're going to do is we are going to copy this and we are going to run this with power bi and get that data right now let's close this and go to file then options and settings and then options now here you will find various option to enable and disable so here you have r scripting and here you can choose the r version i also have version from microsoft sql server so i'll just choose the one that i want to use also id keep your r studio as is do not use visual studio it will take longer time right so our studio is good enough right if you have any other security and data load settings you can change them right and after that we will move to get data then more now here what we're going to do is we are going to use r and then use our script right click on our script click connect and then paste the script that we wrote earlier within our studio right and then click on ok here and make sure that it is run by the exact compiler version that you pointed out click ok it should open a new window where that new data will be visible right yes here you see that that variable will be showing you the data from that deployers medic csv file imported right so it seems like all our data is properly loaded next thing click on load and watch the fields getting populated on the right 
right the next thing we are going to do is we are going to publish this and take our report to the cloud right so publish this save the changes and call it our demo now save the file it will load it to the cloud within your my workspace and if it gives you a success message that means everything is working right click got it and now let's go to our workspace browse workspace here you can click on our demo data set and if you want to visualize the data that we just process through our script click on auto create let it show you the values as you can see medicine being used then sum of various columns okay you can also keep on adding diagnosis and any other column that you have and create a report out of it right so this was just to show you the example of how this can be done so if you want to make few more changes like taking our script data then publishing it with csv and then taking it into your desktop version of power bi and then taking it to cloud the same process will follow okay as you can see we have managed to process data from our script there is also one more way you can close the power bi right and open our studio here within links you can see we have our data and the output within terminal right if we want we can get this within csv file as well right so if we export this particular script data into say a csv file it should look something like this right and now if i want to work with it i can simply open power bi right and then i can connect to this csv file so what we can do is we can create our script uh, as usual then process our data right and then once you process this data within r you can again export this data right and once you expo export this in another csv file which is a lot different than your previously imported csv file within r studio you can simply use that new csv file right and get the data then you will have fields again right so as you can see i have new data i can load it will take some time depending on number of rows loaded as you can see 749 and also have that table and its columns loaded i can publish this again save changes and demo again save it it will take your data to your cloud workspace and then from there we can able to quickly generate the report for this particular data right so if i go here again create sorry within browse my workspace here i have data set for demo if i choose to auto create report Right, so as you can see, our report is generated, and you can further add, remove those columns, and process as you wish. Right, so you can use such our script data within your desktop version as well as while taking it to your cloud. 
you will have to save that particular file right using publish and then you can take it to the cloud